The humpback dolphin from Tinkin Bay off the Kulula coast of Queensland, named Mystique, has developed an unusual habit of bringing treasures from the deep, corals, bottles, and other objects in exchange for fish. While the dolphin has often displayed generous behavior, dolphin feeding volunteer, Lynn McPherson said its activity had increased while the dolphin feeding center was closed to tourists. Dolphins are the cutest and smartest animals. They have evolved to live in harmony with humans and even make friends with humans while they're at it. Like humans, humpback dolphins sometimes need to woo potential mates by offering them gifts. Mystique, a 30-year-old male dolphin, is an absolute favorite of medicines now. This adorable dolphin has formed a unique habit of bringing gifts to visitors from the bottom of the ocean at the Barnacles Cafe and Dolphin Feeding Center on Queensland's Kulula Coast. The humpback dolphin brings the choicest gifts in his snout from coral to sea sponges. Volunteers at the Barnacles Cafe and Dolphin Feeding Center in Australia have been documenting these occurrences on social media and claim that the resident pod of nine has been offering ocean treasures as a way to socially interact with humans while residents stay home under quarantine. The pod has been bringing us regular gifts, showing us how much they're missing the public interaction and attention, says one Facebook post. According to the cafe's website, the pod is led by Alpha Male Mystique, who is known to bring large pieces of coral and even glass bottles to dolphin feeding volunteers. The rest of his squad consists of his estuary dwelling counterparts, including Patch, Ella, Harmony, and Squirt to name a few. A volunteer feeder Lynn McPherson stated to ABC that Mystique the humpback dolphin had not been trained to bring these items. However, in return for what he brings, the dolphin is rewarded with fish. Lynn quoted to Daily Mail, he gets under it, and if he drops it too far out, or we say, come on, that's not good enough. Then he gets underneath it and brings it to us. We swear he has a collection waiting to bring to us. This isn't the first time these majestic creatures have presented marine gifts on their noses. On several occasions, Mystique has brought volunteers items found in the water, but the most popular present is the sea sponge. The volunteer told ABC, the marine creatures have displayed that behavior before, but it has increased since the venue's closure. Even though Mystique is one of the seven dolphins in his pod at the Barnacles Cafe and Dolphin Feeding Center on Queensland's Kulula Coast, he is the only dolphin to bring gifts for visitors. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Another male dolphin sometimes accompanies Mystique on his adventures, in the hope of also getting some fish treats. The staff here state that Mystique's treasure hunting behavior grew more frequent during the coronavirus pandemic after the center was shut down amid the lockdown closures, the business reopened on May 16th. This means 200 daily visitors can once again witness the treasure trove that Mystique has to offer. Dolphin expert and University of Queensland PhD student Barry McGovern told Seven News Australia that while there is a possibility the dolphins are missing cafe guests, they probably just missed the extra feeding time. Nothing surprises me with dolphins and their behavior anymore. They do everything. They use tools, they have culture. They have something similar to names and signature whistles. He says, in all likelihood, they probably don't miss humans per se. They probably miss a free meal and the routine. McGovern even says that this play-like behavior may be happening because the dolphins want something to do. They're used to getting fed now, so they're used to humans coming in, he says. When it's not happening, maybe it's just out of boredom. While the tourist destination attracts people interested in feeding the dolphins, the business says they are regulated by the Queensland government. The dolphins tend to swim near the cafe where they are fed once in the morning before returning back into the wild. Mystique's father was rescued by locals in early 1950s. The 30-year-old humpback dolphin and the other dolphins come to the shore for human interaction and not for food. This dolphin feeding center was founded in the early 1950s when an injured dolphin reached the shore. Locals saved the dolphin's life by feeding it and helping it to restore its strength. When the dolphin was recovered and was well enough to fend for himself, he returned to the bay. Dolphins have reportedly made a comeback to Kolkata after three decades. The locals thought it was the last time they would see the male dolphin. But the grateful dolphin returned with a host of other dolphins, including both Mystique and his mother in 1990. And they have continued to return to this center ever since.
Mystique's care for visitors has been a joy to watch as he grows past his shy, timid beginnings. Seeing him hunt and bring us gifts from the depths of the sea is a beautiful reminder of how wonderful nature can be. The loving dolphin's antics have brought him a lot of fans from all over the world. Would you like to meet Mystique? And what do you think about him and other dolphins? Write your opinion in the comment section. I hope you like this video. Share it and subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.